Welcome back. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. With over 5 billion cases diagnosed each year, it is the most common form of cancer in the United States. Part of the mission in May is to speak up about the dangers of skin cancer and provide information to save lives. With that in mind, CBS News Miami's Maribel Rodriguez is sharing the story of her own skin cancer diagnosis. How did we do this week? Much better today. Did much better today? <laughs> but getting better wasn't as simple as answering that question. It was not an easy process. Um, I became depressed looking at myself in the mirror with a big scar across my face, and that was my main concern. What am I going to look like? The tsunami of emotions and thoughts brought on several months ago after receiving the news no one wants to hear. I had skin cancer. It all started when I noticed this tiny bump on my face. It had no texture, no different coloring, but it wouldn't go away. And that's when I knew something wasn't right. I immediately went to see Dr. Dowd a Miami Dermatology and Laser Institute. You had the most common cancer to not only affect the skin, but to affect people, period. It's called a basal cell skin cancer, a basal cell carcinoma. I was so surprised when I got the outcome because it was something that was so tiny. And when they said, you have skin cancer, I was like, what? Basal cells tend to be very slow growing, but they've got nothing better to do but that, grow. And if they grow for long enough, they can get down into the fat underneath our skin, the muscle, the bone, very, 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 very rarely. And unfortunately, I've seen this, they can actually spread through the body. Thankfully, I went just in time. And although it looked small on the outside, it had spread on the inside. Dr. Dow determined the most procedure was the best option. It's named after the surgeon who made the technique. And what it allows us to do is look circumferentially around the tissue, as well as deep into it to make sure that there are no skin cancer cells left. Fortunately, every cell was removed, but I was left with this. As we discussed, you know, that first week out, especially when that bandage comes off, it can be a Scary. little alarming. Yeah. But like I told you, this is a healing process. And so the healing process began. And two weeks later, after my first laser treatment and great makeup, I was back on the air. Important consumer alert for parents. The with a fading scar and a big smile. At the end of the day, I say, it doesn't matter. You took it all out. You know what? So that's, no more, right? That's the thing. No cancer more cancer. Free. That's cancer it. Cancer-free. <laughs> cancer-free. Boom. Well, it was quite the journey, but I am so grateful. I am doing great, as you can see. And I hope my story inspires all of you to take care of your skin. Wear plenty of sunblock. Make it your best friend. And, of course, if you see something on your body that just doesn't look right, get it checked out. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS News, Miami. Mm. Wow. Maribel, thank you for telling that story because it really hits home with so many people. Yeah, and you see just this little dot and you think, oh, it's mm -hmm. nothing, it'll go away and life gets busy and hectic sure. and you forget about it, but that's why it's so important. Do those skin checks, check in with your doctor if anything seems out of place. And you even mentioned that it was incredible that Maribel took us along for mm -hmm. the actual process, not telling us the story after the fact, but she took us to those doctor's appointments. So we really appreciate her really putting a face to something so important. Yeah, and you have to be brave because, I mean, this is important to us, mm -hmm. what we do it for is. a living. Mm -hmm.